thank you for, for being here tonight. Uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce one of the most phenomenal poets that I know uh, here in Nashville. She also holds an open mic called Poetry in the Brew. Please welcome Christine Hall. Thank you, Mo. Oh, thank you, Rizzo. Alive Nashville. Y'all, oh, I mean, you're bringing the fiery spirit. Thank you for that. Um, I'm not going to say it's my first time, but it is my first time since like pre-pandemic on a stage. We've been weekly online, but we're coming back to Portland Brew East August 14th. So if you want to join an open mic, second Saturday of every month up in the loft of Portland Brew East, Poetry in the Brew. We've been going 10 years. We're going to have a book about it, August 24th. Okay, I'll say three poems, two old ones, one new because I don't have the new one memorized, I'm going to go grab my phone. One sec. Well-heeled beasts. Hard to trot. Out of the gate at eight. She was 14. They were both jailbait. Impatient for the stroke of fate. How far back can we place the blame to refute his claim? No may molesta. It prepped him for this so he could be a beast and he could be the best. And he is at losing it. Perhaps his beast would benefit from her patient discipline. Perhaps he doesn't hate women, just bitches who say they don't like it or want to keep him on a leash. Rein in that wild beast, please. When I was 13, I babysat boys six and nine. They jumped me once from behind, tore my clothes and roared. I took them out back to play with matches, burn off that energy, control its release. Make a man of the beast. Most of my early flings lost their virginity to babysitters, citing similar age differences. Nearly all called the experience positive. Isn't a boy supposed to like sex? Isn't a girl a cheap, dirty whore when she likes it? Especially when she admits it to the guys, tempts the dangerous beasts, at least some of whom she wants to ride. Therein lies the conflict. She might not like to be hit, even though she might like how he hits it. Any discipline based on incomplete information is risky business. Any corporal punishment system teaches violence. Any beast can be made a bitch, and vice versa. Thank you. Getting together in the name of the good word. I love it. It's good to be back. Thank you. Uh, I will do, if I had a signature poem, it would be this one. I don't know why. It's um, a bit expositional. Metaphorical largesse, part one. Stepping into your heart, I notice there's no roof to hit. I wasn't surprised, but amazed to find your spirit a redwood soaring into the vast. Love has a great view of everywhere. Part two, the world is your castle. What does it matter if you are the queen or you wash the queen's sheets or you are a queen who washes her own sheets? You are the ghost in the machine the man behind the curtain, the tooth fairy. No pressure. Part three. When you are young and beautiful, you imagine someone rich and famous will discover and appreciate you. Then when no one pulls you out of a phone booth like Kate Moss, and they don't even have phone booths anymore, I pretended to pass out in a phone booth at a Fugazi show once. I never shot heroin. That was a lie. Loud noises are exhausting, and I needed a nap. You have to pull out all your talents and parade them and pray you will notice your own beauty and not mourn your youth of opportunities wasted and waiting on the one. Look, you hold the magic arrow in your hands. Stick it in the first thing that moves, you. Thank you. 
This is my last one. Time Out of Mind for Bob and Nico in Paris, 1964. This time I will name you Boaz. I will cleave you from my head and ripen you in my womb. I will address you as you and remember all the other places and names you've been. This time, I will know your strength and sharpness is no affront to the gentle hand with which we laid you to rest. This time, I will remember you with action and I will pass the time with care. There will be no waste in our waters. There will be no poison on our tongues. There will be no longing for another, for we are everyone. I will not feed you to the dogs this time. There will be no dogs this time. There will be only wolves, and we will be the wolves, and we will not be cannibals. We will be perfect, and we will be wrong, and I will not blame you for what I have done. I will not write letters to you that I do not send. I will not write in my blood. I will not long for another, for you are myself, and we are wolves fighting for what is already won.